uh, the Hazan bio, you know better, but I'll remind you, he's originally from across the border in Mexico, <laughs> actually Alexandria. Um, it's a privilege to be the second full-time Hazan in our congregation. Also serves as the editor of Sacred Sounds, the Cantor's Assembly Lay Newsletter. What does that mean? Lay Newsletter. The newsletter for Lay. Not for the cantors. No, no, we don't. It's for the us. <laughs> yes. Uh, where does one find this newsletter? It's <laughs> 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 a secret, not any lay person should. I just wish you He has also been a guest lecturer at the Jewish Theological Seminary, the College of William and Mary, and soon at HUC in New York. Also a founding member of the four-man singing group, the Wizards of Ashkenaz, who performed last spring, here at Bethel and is featured on a recent recording of Synagogue Melodies called Joey's Nikonim. Uh, Joey Weissenberg, who was our scholar in residence a few weeks ago. Um, let me assure that like all that is good, the Hamantash will prevail. Kazan. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, so, last, uh, it is a privilege to be here Yesterday, Rabbi Harris gave an elegant, beautiful sermon on the importance in this season of taking hold of our Judaism, of taking hold of our Jewish practice, and really living it. And I'm here to tell you today that there are some parts of our Jewish practice which will sweeten and enrich your life, while there are other parts of our gastronomic Jewish heritage, which are a pernicious danger to your soul. (laughs) Yes, I'm here to speak today about the Hamakashim and, of course, the pernicious Lotka. Now, to begin, very small. The first thing we know about the Hamantashen is that its, its origin story is the, from the Book of Esther. Now, we've all heard of the Book of Esther because we read it in synagogue. That is because this book is, in fact, canonical. It is part of the Jewish canon, ratified by Cloud Israel by the Jewish people over a thousand years to be one of the books which contains the will of God. <laughs> <laughs> Salvation, that the Hamantash is canonical. The <laughs> <laughs> Lanka, however, comes from the book of Maccabees 1 through 4. Now, you may not have ever read the books of Maccabees yourself, because they do not, in fact, appear in any Hebrew Bible. They are part, not part, of the Jewish canon. But you can find them in a little section of books called the Apocrypha. <laughs> now, the Apocrypha were indeed written by some Jews, but they were not quite evaluated to be Jewish camp. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one Bible, one place where you can find the books of the Maccabees, which points to the inherent spiritual quality and character of the Latka, and it is in no Hebrew Bible but in a Catholic Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there we go. That's that. I know. There's another thing. There's another thing. Let's see if it comes. There's a quote. You know me if I'm not in the Bible. Also from the book of Esther, which teaches us many important Jewish values that speak from the pages of history up until the modern day. The book of Esther contains a savvy feminist heroine who saves her people. (laughs) (laughs) I think we have many of them here at Bethel. Mordechai speaks truth to power and is overall a righteous dude. <laughs> and Jewish self-defense is commemorated with gifts to others and charity to the poor. <laughs> well, 
love this reply. Okay. So if you want to stand, if we want to stand for such important values as women's empowerment. <laughs>
put two Hamantash and burn it and put one on top of the other. This magic symbol that has stood for our people's struggle for freedom and for our religious ideals for millennia. Mount Sinai! <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the ever popular, from biblical times to this day, mark of the Jewish male, the beer. <laughs> <laughs> the Lanka, however, we all know, as was well described before, is in a circle. For those of you who have studied the history of religions, know that when there are circles, only one thing can be far behind. Yes, circles that lead to paganism. <laughs> Stonehenge! How many times you said in conclusion? Somebody <laughs> <laughs> maybe went to rabbinic school, <laughs> <laughs> Panther school. Okay, I don't know. Elatka could be reeling. <laughs>